Today's video is going to show the process of producing ozonated olive oil using an ozone generator. We've done this before. This is a little bit different. We're going to make the ozone from dry air rather than from oxygen. The ozone generator here is going to be the RMU K6 ozone generator. We've got a two liter reactor again with about one liter of olive oil within that reactor. And we're flowing air into ozone at about one liter per minute. From that air and ozone, we're going to produce about 3% ozone by weight, which will be about 2.5 grams per hour of ozone. Now about 3% by weight is about as high of ozone concentration as you're going to get from a dry air ozone generator. So it's a pretty realistic number there. And it'll really show the difference between creating ozone from oxygen to air. We're measuring the ozone at the headspace with UV106M ozone analyzer. That's pulling a sample of gas at the headspace of that reactor. You see the little tubing there. The bottom you see we have a temperature gauge basically we've got the room temperature is 80 degrees fahrenheit we've got a little temperature probe tied to the side it's about 70 75 degrees fahrenheit you'll see that change as the process goes on but you'll never see it rise real rapidly like you did with oxygen we just don't have near the reaction rate when we were making ozonated olive oil from oxygen we increased that temperature pretty substantially and here we just don't do that because there's not as much reaction occurring the solubility of ozone with oxygen is going to be higher than it is with air, so we have less solubility. And that's why you see um, the ozone level on the UV-106M start to rise. I mean, you don't see it very high yet, but in a little while you'll see it around 200 to 500 ppm. It never really got there until the very end with oxygen, but with air we get there because the solubility is pretty low. That's two reasons. Number one, concentration of ozone is lower, so the solubility is lower. Number two, Air is less soluble into liquid than what oxygen is. So when we're using air as medium overall, we're less soluble. So less of our ozone is dissolving and we're making less. So a lot of big differences there. Overall, this process took about 48 hours, whereas the previous process we did using oxygen with the VMUS4 took about 24 hours. And we're actually putting just as much, if not more, ozone in here. It's just not as much of it is staying in because the solubility is less. We believe the ozonated olive oil is less pure, a less quality product, and we'll show you that at the end. Well, what was happening is air has nitrogen. So air is 20% oxygen, 80% nitrogen, with a few other inert gases. We're using rough numbers there. On that 20, 80% nitrogen, with the ozone that we're creating, we do create a bunch of NOx, nitrogen oxide byproducts. Those NOxs or those nitrogen oxide byproducts are entering into the liquid. And that's why you see a little bit of a yellow tinge to it. And that stays, we'll show you that that stays at the end. We believe those byproducts that we're adding in make it a less pure product. So number one, we have lower ozonide levels because we have less oxygen overall coming into the process. So we believe there's less oxygen, less ozone, less free available oxygen molecules in this finished product along with the fact that it's just a less pure product altogether. You'll see when the product is finished, it has the same consistency, the same viscosity as what any other ozonated olive oil does. It doesn't feel different. This is at 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and it has that gel-like substance. When you put it in the refrigerator, it does solidify as regular ozonated olive oil does. There's nothing different there. But the color is definitely different, and we'll show you that. You can see that the viscosity is plenty, plenty thick. We tip the beaker upside down, it doesn't move a bit. Um, we'll wipe it around a little bit, it is same viscosity. It appears to be good quality. We also notice there's an off odor. I can't show that in the video, but if you smell this and you smell ozone, if you've ever smelled regular ozonated olive oil, it has a fresh ozone smell to it. If you smell this, it almost has a smell like nitric acid. You can almost smell a tinge of nitric acid, which would make sense if we're creating nitrogen oxide byproducts and there's a little bit of hydrogen that we're mixing with there to make HNO3. Not out of the question. The end here will show you an image of the difference between regular ozonated olive oil from oxygen and ozonated olive oil from dry air. And you'll see the difference in color is, is vast. At the end of the day, we believe that making ozone from dry air is not a viable option. We believe that oz ozonated olive oil should always be produced from oxygen and an ozone generator rather than from an air-fed ozone generator in any case.